one, the structures, techniques and audiences of television. Adverts are divided into forms of adverts such as realist, anti-realist, talking heads and artistic. As some adverts include celebs to get people to buy the product. Realist adverts are adverts that come across as not telling a story as it's making you want to swap to the three network. An realist advert is the Salvation Army in which it has actors involved. Realistic adverts are a way that the advert will happen like a narrative. McDonald's advert because it tells the story of the boy getting torn off by his parents, which could relate in real life. The realist advert is the NSPCC advert as it shows the real aspect and highlights the importance of the advert. It also makes you realise what you should appreciate, what you have in life, as it makes you feel sympathy as well. Talking heads are a way to get people talking about the product, express the benefits of the product as it will make you feel beautiful and your skin smoother. Another example of a talk head advert is Colgate Dentist that tells us about the product. The advert has a dentist that tells you information about the product and how you can get better at teeth. Artistic adverts are adverts that require a skill in art. Football Magnum Ice advert has artistic features as the girl in the advert does a piece of unique art. The advert links with artistic as well as talking heads as it reflects people in the way Style. They use a dramatic style to make the advert look better than already is. For example, the chocolate finger advert fingers have an argument and one of them falls down the stairs and appeals to a performance style. But I'll take the mick out of the advert, which they create humour. Roger Federer advert for Nike is an example of the way that it comes across as funny as it has elements of parody as it's taken the mick out of Roger Federer's tennis skills. There are facts and statistics that can be proven to get people to buy the product. It has facts about the product in case you are allergic to any of the ingredients. For example, SES uses facts and figures to get people to buy the sofas. Facts and figures can reach a specific audience. Pathos is the way the emotion gets to the audience. Jane Street's Christmas advert uses emotion to create sympathy. Life worth Living advert uses emotion. A unique selling point of a product is how the company sells the product. Mother Corner advertisement shows a close-up of the yogurt. The company is selling the idea that the yogurt is creamy and only has 99 calories in it. Also, they use Lucasade Lug Light by activities and having fun. It is important in adverts to make the person question if the brand is suit. Cola has been around for years and the brand has been different as the Coca-Cola brand fits with its logo also, as it stands out. Also, Cadbury's have changed the branding as it's developed better over the years. will identify the brand and it will not question. Regions can be defined in a class, age, gender and ethnicity. For example, number seven makeup is aimed at women who want to look beautiful. The product could divide opinion and attitude. This advert is mainly aimed at men because it has a football theme and football is more linked to me they are with the product but also as they have seen Joe Hart using it so it will Ofcom deals with complaints that people make about a TV show or advert as the road safety advert can't be shown until after 9pm due to children Walgers got complaints due to violence KFC also got banned as it wasn't suitable for daytime television as Ofcom investigate their complaints Part 2. Advertising and audiences Agents. by using focus groups and questionnaires to help define the audience. But ITV spent thousands of pounds on advertisement. Five uses advertising as their audience is a maximum of 3 million viewers. And that is a big audience to put advertisements onto. They put advertisements for people to buy the product as 83% of people watch adverts on ITV. Questionnaires are also a key element to define the audience. Also, getting them to answer questions on the product you are advertising will help as it will be on a well known channel like ITV as there will be millions watching the advert. But research agencies' websites help determine the style of the advert besides ITV. So, ITV have the biggest TV shows on based around how much people pay for advertisement. For example, Channel 5 is also a channel that people pay to watch the advertisement, the advertising and people who watch the big shows that make the money from the iPod. The information packs are based around information about a product as it focuses on the design of the product and how the packaging relates to the product. Dairy Milk uses the packaging to make sure that it fits with its brand 
and also its identity. And now, as its product is based around the purpose of L'Oreal, also information packs intend to back up the product with information. Classification is based around the class, gender, and ethnicity of the product, which can vary on a product, as on the Johar advert for Head and Shoulders. It has a variation of old and young people, specifically working class because season tickets are expensive. As the whole theme of the advert is football, and the advert is aimed at a demographic of children at a certain age in particular, as it says in the advert approved by mums. The hypodermic model is basically inject a message that is an active consumption as it doesn't give a meaning behind the product as it doesn't relate to the product and the message will be questioned. All of a passive consumption is the car from warehouse and what's going on when it comes to the messages and skip adverts on YouTube. The effect debates of products features health concerns but Weight Watchers has concerns over people's weight as it's shown the positive aspects of the advert like people losing weight. Jennifer Lopez Body Lab helps you benefit your body as they use the skinny celebrity, Jennifer Lopez, to promote the product and encourage people to try it out. Nutrition is a way to make people look natural. For example, L'Oreal advert featuring Cheryl Cole, as it's making it look like airbrushing is okay. As another example is the number seven makeup, as they are covered in makeup to send negative messages to teenagers. And then young and naive is a way to respond as it's representing children in a negative way. Tendingly saying no to go into Disney World. As another example is the Thomas Cook advert. It's showing off what people can afford at luxury holiday. Cultural competence is the message behind the product. The product and whether it will represent the product or not. Well, the Garnier advert, as the history is basically getting rid of the grey hair that people have as it's changing by including blonde because the hybrid stomachs as its history is represented immaturity the of the whole product being represented as having fun with the product itself as it has squeaky voices included and as the part of the mentor uses basically social media for example the tango advert uses the hashtag to get people involved in the advertisement so the interactive advert is that a coca-cola advert as it's getting people involved in the advert part three work to a brief and what briefs to each occupation there are several briefs whilst working with a client and as it depends on the job that is being carried out. Different jobs have different briefs and how they are structured. A contractual brief is an example of the structure of briefs. It's breaching a contract that entitles a person signing a document and confirming that it's been officially signed. Another example is a it's not serious contract if you are in a profession that the meetings won't be serious. They won't be planned or organised and will be all, all over the place. Formal contracts are a way that it has professionalism involved. Also, formal contracts are structured as serious compared to informal contracts. Informal contracts can break the rules. Formal contract meetings are more professional and planned out. Reading a brief is important as you need to know what the requirements are to hit the points of the brief. For example, if you were following a formal brief, you would have to be professional and try and hit every point to please the client. Also, reading the brief and highlighting the key points will help the client and make it look like you understand what it means you are trying to make to the client, as it may not understand. Also, try and meet the requirements of the brief to the client. Read the brief carefully so you understand what is required from the client. The best way to promote a business or opportunity to a client so they know how much the production is going to cost to produce. The legal and ethical considerations are important as they need to make sure that there's no copyright included in the brief. It's other people's work and claiming it's your own. Make sure that it's being professional and balanced and not biased. Consider when negotiating a brief to the client, make sure there's no discrimination and make sure there's fairness and balance. Meant. What it brings to the client is that they learn new skills to improve on and links with the industry can help develop new skills and make the job better for the client and better for having experience and new skills to improve and give them more opportunities as the skills and experience have developed and help them better in life.